Hey guys, now before I start this video, I know most of you aren't used to seeing me like this. Like, I know my hair's a bit of a mess and uh, you're probably not used to seeing me with a beard, but this is what quarantine does. So I thought, not really going out, not really got anywhere to go, so why before making the effort? Um, I'm basically doing this just to talk about what I'm planning on doing during this difficult time. Because there's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, but I've never really had the time or the money to uh get on with these projects but while quarantine is happening and while there's no events going on in the country or indeed the world and i'm not going to be spending so much money so i thought i may as well use that money to get on with these projects that i've been meaning to do just basically this is going to be me talking about uh from at weight to heavyweight what i intend to do in those categories So starting off with the outweights, aside from the commission service, I'm not really doing a lot with it, apart from um, this one right here, which... No, I'll just take a look. So this is a six-wheel drive pusher, which will be taking the place of Don't Worry Sweetie, I'll Crunk With You, which has been sold to a new owner. And this one will either be called Look What You've Done To Our Breakfast, or A Man Has Fallen Into The River In Lego City. I might do that and save the breakfast one for maybe a, a four-wheel driver vertical spinner. Depends how things go. Uh, aside from the... Uh, uh, speaking of the commissions I said earlier, um, there's this one which is currently in the works called Wolfick, uh, which the client asked for an outweight foxy, but I had to make some changes to adapt with the weight and the four-inch cube rules. So there's that. And with the commission service, I am also taking the precautions and working with the couriers and delivery services to make sure that all and weights are made and get to their new owners safely during this time. So now on to beetle weights. Um, first of all, some of you may have seen this on the social media pages. Uh, so this is Atmosphere, which is the new two-wheel drive vertical spinner I've built. Um, it's actually my first time building a spinner above amp weight, and also the very first robot I've ever built to contain, if I can get the lid off, to contain a brushless rod. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, and a spinner, so brushless there, and... Uh, So yeah, um, I haven't really got it running yet because it needs a different receiver model to fit inside better because everything's very cramped in there and it, where the receiver is will stop it from running properly like it should because it's got outrunner motors for the drive as well as the um, the weapon power. Um, aside from beetle weights, I've got um, sort of test outlines on there and also there is one of the loner bots somewhere behind there for a live show I'm trying to pull off. There's also uh, other beef weight projects as well, which I'm not really going to mention just yet because I kind of want to keep it a surprise. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for beef weights, I think. So for feather weights, what I'm going to do will actually be my first feather build in about three years. So. This, all these down here are the metal plates for Air Max, and I apologise if the camera's a bit shaky because I'm not used to filming with left hand. So, this is 3 to 12 mil Abra, which is a similar brand to Hardox, and here is the 12 millimeter disc, and uh, yeah, so there's that. This is. Here's a picture of it all laid out on the floor, and here in the CAD is what it should look like when it's assembled. Uh, yeah, I've been because one thing I wanted to do for a very long time was build a featherweight spinner, and now it's finally happening. And yeah, that's it for the featherweights. So for heavyweights, I'm going to try and keep this as brief as I can. Now, Tango is finally going to be getting a active weapon. It, um, its rammer form wasn't as it's supposed to be. It was a last minute move for Manchester back in 2018. And 
during this time, I am trying to get a four bar lifter put on it. I was going to put rear hinge lifter, but then uh, there were a few complications with the CAD design and the way Tango is. I just feel like a four bar lifter will be easier to work with because with the um, regular lifter, there's going to be a lot of teething problems and complications. So yeah, there's that. Um, I may have mentioned about wanting to sell it in the past. I'm still on the fence with that. I'm not 100% if Tango will be sold, but at some point, whether or not that does happen, I do want to build a second heavyweight, which will either be a heavyweight version of Let's Dance or a six-wheel drive vertical disc spinner, Midnight Express. Um, leaving that short there, I will elaborate more in the future if it does go ahead. But that's literally all there is for um, this rundown of the quarantine project that I'm going to be doing. So stay safe, stay well, stay inside, and goodbye for now.